warm welcome and the introductions. I will keep it relatively brief because I think today is really about the future pirates. And for me, it is uh, a great comfort and uh, uh, something that makes me optimistic that in the next European Parliament, uh, there will no longer be one pirate who sometimes is a bit lonely, but there will be half a dozen pirates, not from one country, but from several countries that will be able to continue the work that uh, my team and I have been doing over the last five years. Already today, we have not been working alone as the German Pirate Party. Uh, in my team, we have people from all over Europe. Uh, we have a team of volunteers that has made it possible that uh, people in all of Europe can know about the work that we're doing, can read about it in a dozen different languages, and uh, that people all over Europe can participate in the work that we have been doing over the last few years. The Pirate Party wants to change Europe, but we want to do it together. We have a common European election program that guides our work, and we are not trying to uh, use the European Union to get an advantage for our own country, because we uh, see ourselves as a collective, our interests are uh, similar and our uh, destinies, our futures are combined and we can only build a future uh, for uh, all of us together. So I am very happy uh, to be here and uh, to witness the signing of this common election program uh, just like we have had five years ago when the Pirate Party um, also ran across Europe on, on this joint platform that has guided my work over the last uh, five years. The Pirate Party is a pan-European movement, but we have the courage to use the internet, to use the tools of transparency, to show people also what is going wrong. Uh, we have uh, started already at the beginning of my term to build tools that allow us to uh, publish all the lobby meetings that I have been taking. You can go on my website right now and see every lobby group that I have met with over the last five years and make sure uh, that it's uh, balanced and that all the different parts of society have a chance to uh, work for me. And since just a few years ago, uh, just a few days ago, sorry, there has been now a vote in the European Parliament that this publishing of lobby meetings will become mandatory for all the members of Parliament. We have shown that it works, that it is possible, that it does not lead to the downfall of uh, negotiations and uh, this transparency is becoming a norm that everybody else will have to follow. Uh, there are young people all across Europe, uh, I would say probably everybody below 25, who is a bit upset right now with the plans uh, for Article 13 and for upload filters. The European Union, for a large extent, is still run by old men over 60. Those are the ones that uh, hold the positions of power. They did not grow up with the internet. They see it either as a, um, a phase that might go away again. They um, see it as a marketplace primarily, somewhere to do business more efficiently. But uh, they don't see it as a public forum, a place where we meet our friends, where we are creative and where we exchange with each other. And I think they will uh, witness a great surprise during this election campaign, where literally at every school where they will be uh, campaigning, where they will be answering questions from constituents, they will be confronted with this concern that the copyright directive is threatening the internet as an open public space. I think being transparent and being uh, a constructive opposition in the European Union <coughs> means that we question, for example, when Germany and France in a backroom deal decide what the copyright directive should look like. But our answer to that is not to say, oh, the European Union is undemocratic. No, our answer is to say we have to work together to make sure that the European Parliament as a whole rejects such an undemocratic backroom deal. And I'm confident that uh, the Parliament does have the power and uh, the uh, electorate does have uh, the opportunity to make this happen. We know that even though there are millions of young people across Europe, most of them don't vote. 
vote in the European elections. And I think this is a great challenge for us. We have to give them the message that even though the proposals that we are seeing to change the internet are a threat to them and their way of life, it is in their power to change this. It is in our power to change this. So I think it is our task as pirates in this campaign to show them that uh, if they go to the vote, if they participate, there will be different decisions being made in the next European Parliament. If they vote for the pirates, if they join parties, if they go to events and talk about the issues that are important to them, I think the next European Parliament will look very different from the one that we have today. Not with one pirate out of 751 members being perhaps the canary in the coal mine telling people that uh, the internet is really changing everything. But uh, I think the Pirate Party will be one of the major forces for sure to work on digital policy in the next European Parliament, but also to work on other uh, policies to build the future that young people are expecting. We have people uh, marching uh, against climate change and are um, calling upon the uh, decision makers who will not be around to witness the future that they are afraid of to have a fundamental shift in how we are uh, dealing with the environment. We have uh, people expecting that the internet remains a free space for uh, democracy and that we do not allow a small number of private companies to exploit our personal data and turn us into a commodity. And I think it's only the pirates that can combine these different most uh, important topics for the future and do politics in a different way, in a way that is transparent and in a way that invites participation. So I really look forward to participate in this election campaign, even though I am not standing as a candidate again. I think one thing that is also extremely important for pirates is that we do not lose touch with the population at, law, uh, at large. I think that uh, politics should not be a profession that you do your entire life, but uh, a role that uh, citizens take for a limited time before they go back into their other professions so that uh, the European Parliament and any Parliament really is a reflection of society and is a government by the people. So thank you very much.